Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I have for you a very interesting looking shape or set of shapes. So to show you how this model was created, I first started with a sketch. And as you can see, the sketch is a very simple sketch with these uh, 12 points that are distributed on the sketch. I just made one, uh, one point on the sketch and then uh, I patterned it. And then I put a plane through uh, the point and perpendicular to the sketch. And then I made another sketch on that. And as you can see, it's like a wagon wheel with these 12 points that are uh, distributed evenly around the wagon wheel. Uh, and then I made a circular pattern out of all of that. So there you have it. Now I've got 12 wagon wheels. Uh, and each wagon wheel was used to create a set of splines. So I would um, use a 3D fit spline to go from this point and then the next point on the wagon wheel and the next point on the wagon wheel on the sequential uh, wagon wheel. And so I made four of these splines. They're distributed around the original circular sketch. Uh, and then I essentially did it again, only I did it the opposite way. And I did sweeps along each one. As you can see, there is this little sketch, that little sketch, that little sketch is another one somewhere. And I used them to sweep along those lines or those curves. So there we have it. We have four sweeps. Isn't that cool looking? Then I did a revolve. So then um, I united all of that. Or I should say I Boolean added it. And I did some coloring like that. That was fun. Uh, and then I decided I wanted uh, another set of these curves, only the opposite way. And so I used the same wagon wheel sketches and I made 3D fit splines through them all. So there we go. I distributed more curves and I did more sweeps. So then I united it all together, or I should say I added it. I Boolean added it all together. I gave it a bit slightly different coloring. And then I wanted to take this chain link. And so I had a piece of geometry that I wanted to duplicate. And so I did so with a, with a linear pattern. And we get a linear pattern, um, but I wanted to then rotate it. So I did a transform around a, a, a line segment. And so there you have it. That was the next one. So then I did a series of planes and a series of mirrors. After all of that, I had a chain of these things. Easy peasy. Uh, again, my name is Steve Samuel. Um, from Design Visionaries. So please like and subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, thanks again. Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries.